how to create a mega menu with images on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a mega menu within your Shopify store. This is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Shopify.com. Sign into your account and make a little visit to your shop or your product. Right there, go ahead and add the products that you need. And also you can go ahead and organize the menu within your uh, online store right there. Click on navigation. And here we have the main menus and also the footer, the header and etc. For example, when you select navigation, you will see here the menus. Go ahead and click on main menu. For example, I am going to open it in another tab. So I will let you see the difference. Now we have here the home, blog, categories, winter outfits, footwears, and etc. Go ahead and open your store and you will see all the categories. Now I'm going to define for you the categories or the different section of the menus. We have three section or three levels. The level one menu, which is the uh, the standard menu, which has no drop down menu or an, or not another option right there. This is the first degree or the uh, level one option or menu, and we have the level two option, which has or contain a subcategory or a sub menu within itself. For example, categories right there has a sub menu, which is uh, the summer outfit. When you go to your store and select the categories, it is a sub menu and it is a set to let you see the sub uh, menus under the categories. And the third option is, or the third level is the sub sub menu, which is a, a third level menu, which is contained into two uh, menus. The first one is a first level menu and the second one is a category for example like this we have the category which is a level one menu a summer outfit which is the second level menu for categories and we have the summer deals which is the third level menu for summer outfits and category now i will let you see that for example we have the Let's say the uh, the categories we have summer outfits, which is a sub menu for categories, and the summer deals, which is a sub menu for summer and a sub sub menu for categories. I hope that you have understood that. It is a very easy and simple. Now, after I have explained the menu how and how does them they work, I'm going to let you see how we can go ahead and activate the mega menu within your Shopify store. Click on. Uh, themes under online store then click on customize right now we are going to select the header within the header we have a desktop menu type we have three options we have the drop down when you click on category it will show you a drop down menu we have the mega menu which is like that this is the mega menu that you have seen before and we have the drawer you're going to see this one as like that. Now, when you click on mega menu, you can see that it is a very big menu, but it doesn't have some illustrations. So that means that the menu or the mega menu within Shopify is very limited. It has only the titles and the more titles that you are going to add or the more uh, items to the menu that you are going to add, the more right there it will be filled. Now, Let's go ahead and check some options that we can let us add some illustrations. Click on exit right there and you are on your admin dashboard. Within the admin dashboard, we have the search bar right there. Click on it and simply type global like that global. And for the global, we are going to search for a certain app because there is a lot of global application or extension right there. Simply, I am going to put mega menu and then we are going to search it in the shopify app store we're going to give it a little moment right there and i will let you see here the different options we have a global mega menu and a navigation i'm going to choose that uh, here a little 
um, explanation, global is not the only option that they have or is uh, available within the Shopify App Store. There's tons and tons of uh, these extensions. But in my case, I am going to use global because I have um, uh, the a lot of series of the app that I have used, for example, sticky uh, skirt button or uh, some uh, color swatches and etc. So this is the reason why I am going to use global. Click on install, and then with the single click of a button, we are going to make the, or grant the installation within our store. Click on install again right there, and we are going to wait for a few seconds, and it will be appearing right there within the apps that we have on our store. Within the app set and installed, we are going to pin it in our navigation. Click on the pin icon and here we go. We have been pinning the menu. Right there we have the plans and pricing. This is the first thing that you are going to face when you finish installing the app. We have the free version, which is the current plan. And we have also the professional one, which is a paid one for $8 point 25 per month you can get a free trial to see the uh, options that uh, have been available for there and you have been a set now we are simply going to see something right there go ahead and set click or continue as free and for now we are going to click on as continue as free this is the first part that you need to do right that and from now we have the uh, the mega menu set as you can see we have the menu the collection and the brands this is fully customizable so all you have to do to customize then something for example this is the main menu you are going to click on the pen tool which is the item here we have the title it is menu i'm going to put for example something like choice or selection like that, I'm going to set selection. You can add a, a link to it or add an image for it. For example, you can go ahead right there and choose any image. I'm going to upload this image and let it for the menu. Right there, we are going to wait until the image upload. Right there, here we have it. I'm going to select it and simply go ahead and click on save. Here we have the visibility. You can go ahead and set the visibility of it can add a badge to it also and when you finish click on save here we have the image for the selection or the menu now when you drop down the menu right there we have some tabs and these tabs has some sub tabs also for example this one i'm going to delete that third tab i don't need it and i'm going to add a sub tab right there which is a special menu maybe or tab or a mega menu. Let's go ahead and add a mega menu to it. Right there, I'm going to select this one. I like this. So it will be shown something like this. Here we have the heading. Go ahead and modify it. The title I'm going to put here, let's say uh, collection, collection like that. And the icon, you can go ahead and choose an icon. For example, I am going to set a collection like an icon for this. This is click on save. And here we have the title and we have added an icon. The menu item number one and the menu item number two is fully customizable. I'm going to modify the images. So simply click on the pen tool on any of these. Then select an image, for example, this one because it is available you can add a description new arrival like that and simply click on save here we have added the first image and the new arrival you can set and change the image title to something else for example here chain this is just an example for the video here we have it and you can add or modify the second one i'm going to click on upload and add another one so we are going to select that image, wait for it, select, then I'm going to put t-shirts like that. And you can add a, a link, not a description, but a link for the product. So you can go ahead and select the a particular product or you go ahead to Shopify store 
and get that specific link from your store and paste it right there. Here we have it, click on save, and here we have it. Now, all you have to do after you have finished this, click on save or publish menu. Right there, we are going to click on the publish. Make sure to choose the right theme right there, which is in my case, the down theme. Wait for a few seconds and it will be showing up. Right there, we are going, or we are working on the first or the free plan, which is the first plan. So right there, we have the old menu. I'm going to refresh it and see the difference. As you can see, we have the mega menu within and also with the images. You can go ahead and select whatever you want and it will take you to all the products, for example, or uh, all the uh, brands or also the collection that you have set. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.